Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me. I am going to be talking about this set of chubby sticks. I have also talked about another chubby stick set not too long ago from Clinique, but um, since getting this and mentioning that I got this on Snapchat, I have had quite a few questions about how it ended up working out for me. So this is the Clinique and Crayola collaboration, you might call it, and I got the Chubby Lip Crayon Box. So this is a set of eight colors in here, and and they're not quite full size. Just to show you, first off, here's what the packaging looks like. I mean, isn't that just awesome? Maybe it's like having a toddler in my life and dealing with crayons all the time. This just really is exciting for me. But the size on these, they're not exactly full size. So compare that to a full size chubby stick right here. You can see it's shorter, but as you can see, it's still larger than like the teeny tiny size that came in that really long chubby stick set that I got for Christmas. And I'm pretty sure Clinique also has another grouping of these that's in a smaller set, like maybe a four or five piece set. But I do really tend to enjoy the Chevy Sticks. I think they are super wearable, very comfortable on the lips. The classic Chevy Stick is really like kind of a tinted lip balm type product to me. I find many of the shades to be kind of buildable, so with like one pass over your lips, you get a really light amount of color and sort of a balm-like feel. But usually, even with the shades that appear to be very sheer, um, which I'm wearing one of those today. With a little bit of building up, you can get quite a bit more color. But what was really interesting to me about this set is that not only are you getting um, five of just the regular chubby sticks, you're also getting three of the um, chubby stick intense. So the first one here, the brick red, Fuzzy Wuzzy and Red Violet are all the intense version. And I think you can see in this lineup on my hand, those do have just a little bit more uh, color pop to them. I would describe the Chubby Stick Intense formula as more like a cream lipstick. Um, you're gonna get full color pretty much with one pass over your lips. And I think all of these shades have the potential to give you a little bit of shine, especially on the onset, like when they're freshly applied. But with just a little bit of wear, that shine kind of goes down a bit as any lip product tends to do with a little bit of time. But I find that even as the shine sort of starts to exit the equation, I still have a lot of moisture on my lips with the intense version, with the regular uh, chubby stick version that feels more like a tinted lip balm, like I said. I mean, they just have this really kind of buttery, comfortable feel on my lips. And I'm feeling that even when I'm not seeing a ton of shine. So I'm gonna go through all of them um, just on my lips, show you the lip swatches, sort of describe them all for you. And then I wanna mention a few dupes, um, at least that I've been able to identify with what I currently own from the Chubby Stick line. I don't own every shade that they've got, so this might be kind of an incomplete comparison. But just based on the ones I already have, I have noticed a little bit of overlap so I'll point those out here. But let's go through the try-on. Um, Brick Red is the first shade in the box, and this is one of the intense versions, and it's a really pretty red. I don't know that I'd even call it so much a Brick Red. It seems to me like kind of just a true red, and it is a little different um, from the Chubby Stick and Mightiest Maraschino. It's not the exact same tone as that, so I like to see that little bit of difference there, but I think that's a beautiful shade. And then Wild Strawberry is just your sheer take on red. It is buildable. You know, you can add some more color see more red out of this, but it's definitely just a softer take on red. Mango Tango is going to be a pretty sheer coral. I think uh, going into springtime, this kind of shade is awesome to have. If you're a little bit hesitant about wearing oranges, I think this is a really soft, easy take on orange. And then I was so surprised with how much I love melon. This is kind of a soft pink, but it's like a soft, warm pink. Very, very pretty, and honestly sort of surprised at how much that does show up on my lips considering how light the color is. And then the shade called Marvelous is probably the chubby stick, just the classic version in this box that has the most uh, color intensity to it. And to me it feels just like a soft berry. Super wearable. I have this kind of shade many times over in my makeup collection. I still like this one, but it's kind of uh, probably a common shade for those of us who do love the berries. And then the shade I've been wearing throughout the video is the Pink Sherbet. And this is your kind of 
soft, cool pink, whereas Melon had a little more warmth to the pinky shade. This one I think is just a beautiful, cool pink while still being wearable, not being too like cotton candy and light and chalky. It has just a really pretty look on the lips. I love that shade. Now the color called Fuzzy Wuzzy, this is gonna be the one shade in the box that has like a little bit of frost to it. And it's a neutral shade, uh, kind of a honey type color. And I actually think it looks gorgeous on the lips. The frost is not out of control. You're not seeing actual like bits of sparkle, but it just has a slight like metallic nature to it. And I wasn't thinking I'd love it so much, but I think for the fact that the formula is still so moisturizing, it doesn't end up making my lips look dry. And then the last shade in the box, another one of the intense versions, this is called Red Violet, and it's a beautiful, rich, deep berry shade. As I've said with this intense variety, I mean, you're gonna put them on and have full-on color intensity right away, whereas with the regular chubby sticks, you might have to build them up a little bit more to see more color. But those are the eight shades in the box, and I really do think they're beautiful. There's not any one shade that I can't see myself wearing. I mean, I've got some favorites in there. I really like the three intense versions, and I also love the pink sherbet shade, which I chose to wear during this video. Really like Mango Tango as well, that sheer orange, and Melon. Melon is beautiful too. But if I may, I just want to point out the several shades that I already had that I thought were almost identical to several shades in this box. Um, something very similar to Melon is this shade called Mighty Mimosa. So I'll just draw a little swatch below it so you can kind of see for yourself how close those are and just to look at the sticks to the colors just look very similar. So if you already own Mighty Mimosa and you were very interested in the melon shade I was describing, they are like pretty dang similar. Also, um, the color called Whoppin' Watermelon from the regular line is very, very similar to the color I'm wearing. That's Pink Sherbet right there, the one I'm wearing, the swatch of it. There's the watermelon shade right below it. Um, two just very similar sheer pinks. And then I wanna show you Grandest grape here right below red violet. I mean, those two just seem like dead on dupes for one another. And Grandest Grape is one of the Chubby Stick Intense versions. So those are the three that I already owned that I thought really matched up to certain ones in this set. If you already have those and love them, then you might welcome, you know, the fact of having more of those in this kit. Or if you're one who's not a fan of overlap in any form or fashion, that might be kind of a disappointment to you. And other people who might have tons of these might even find um, more overlap potentially. But those are the three that I could see. All in all, I kind of see this as a collector's type thing. Like if you're a huge fan of the chubby sticks, I think you're gonna love just the cuteness and the novelty of this set. Or if you love your Crayola crayons, I mean, I'm picturing like this set would be an awesome gift for the elementary art teacher in your life. I mean, wouldn't that be adorable? Or really any teacher, particularly of young kids, I think that would be such a fun little gift to give, either in this larger box or the smaller um, kit that they have. Or you can buy these individually as well. But this box itself is going to run you $49.50. I'm very pleased with the purchase myself um, because I look at every shade and I say, yeah, I'm going to wear all of those. Just the product packaging is really cute too. You know, they've got the little Crayola like design happening on the stick itself. And I, I just think it's really fun. I'd love to hear what you think if you've tried this kit or any of the other shades in this Clinique Crayola collection. I think again, number one, it is very giftable because everything in here is just so wearable. There's not any shade in here that's completely off the wall and most of the shades, you know, like I said, are in the regular chubby stick formula, which is kind of sheer slash buildable. And I think it's for the person who just enjoys an all around comfortable, easy lip product. You know, these feel very balm-like, whether you wear an intense one or one of the regular ones. They just have a nice smoothness, a nice moisturizing quality on the lips. So I am a fan. So that's my take. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.